going to get into a conversation about how her journey has been so far. I'm a slave. Uh, should we refer to you as a slave queen? No. What's your definition of a slave queen, first of all? The way you went to no. know. Oh no, okay, so to me, the perception that I have of slave queens, I don't want to say anything that will offend anyone. Okay. But um, what from what I know, most of them are like people that they just like dress up with no jobs and they just like sleep with people. Is it? People. Is that's, it? that's what I know. And sleep with people? Yeah. Where did you get that from Google? Or oh, this yeah. is your definition? That's just what I've seen. Mm. Okay. So that's just that's why I don't want to be referred as a slave queen because I'm not a slave queen. So you're just I'm a slave, but why I'm a slave? So for me, the definition of slave is what I went by. Mm. So pretty much, when like every time you do something, you kill it, you give it your best. Mm. So that's where I get my slave from, not necessarily from the slave queens. So you're here to slay the music industry. Yes. Okay. So you moved from the U.S. to Ghana to pursue music. Yeah. How has that been for you? Oh, it's been a bit rough, but still finding my way. Mm. So it's just, it's a big change. What kind of music do you do? How would you call yourself? Is it hip life? Is it high life? Dantal? What, what kind of music do you do? Um, I would like to say that I do a little bit of everything because I don't want to limit, limit myself or put myself in one box. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to like try little things to see like which one I can actually ex ex excel in. Mm -hmm. So. Right now, I'm trying to like try out every little thing, but I mean, I will consider myself as an Afrobeat artist. Afrobeat yeah. artist. Now, the music industry in the US, the music industry in Ghana, how different do you think it is? How different do you think we're doing things down here? What it is uh, do you think we should do here that we're not doing, like emulate from those in the US? Well, the industry is very, very different, mm -hmm. and I'm learning everything as I go. So pretty much, I have to throw away everything that I know right. from the U.S., everything that I picked up, everything that I thought I knew, to learn the new ways that they do things here. But why do you have to throw it all away? You because can also learn and add up to what you already know. Don't you think so? Yeah, but I have to start fresh so it's like going to school all over mm. again you know like when you go to college and you learn something in college and then when you actually get into the field that you're in mm -hmm. it's pretty much like they have to train you and you learn other things so pretty much what you went to school for I'm not saying it's nonsense mm -hmm. but it's kind of like you, you're starting all over again so pretty much you're acquiring new knowledge mm -hmm. so that's how I'm looking at it the females in the in the Ghanaian music industry. Uh, recently, Adina has been um, touring New Zealand, and okay. kids out there are singing his uh, her songs, word for word. There's also Wendy Shea, who recently won an award. Do, what do you think? That how do you think they're doing in the industry? In your opinion. Um. I mean, right now, the females in the industry are doing really well mm -hmm. because way back from like when I was a kid, when I started listening to music, oh, well, you see are like men in the industry and like a few females, but they weren't really like standing their grounds. Like they will be there for like a year with like one song and no one would even like know them after. But now like just looking at the trend, like from 10 years ago, Becca has been like in the industry mm -hmm, for like mm -hmm. a really long time. Right. Efia has been there for like a really long time. And Adina, I'm guessing this is like her third year in the industry mm -hmm, or second. Mm -hmm. And uh, Wendy, which she just started. And so like right now we have the voices. Mm. So we're like really pushing. And I really hope to be part of that group. So right. I like, keep pushing. So there's this, before we go, we, we have your uh, music video we're about to play. Okay. But before we go to that, We've seen your video Asim with uh, EL and Joey B. Mm -hmm. There's already a perception <laughs> that <laughs> upcoming musicians, you know, in Ghana yeah. sometimes need to show like a little bit of skin in their music videos, mm -hmm. like show some parts of their bodies just so they can be talked about or uh, remain relevant. What do you make of that? Because we've seen your video and it is hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's all about you being comfortable. Mm. That's, that's, what that's you think. How, yeah, that's mm. what I look at it. It's all about you being comfortable. That was one of like I won't say my first music mm -hmm. video, but like if you watch my next music video, I'm not naked. It's all about like just being comfortable and what you want to do. At that point that's what I wanted to right. do. I wasn't doing it for people to look at me. I felt comfortable enough to like 
stand in front of a camera with my butt cheeks hanging out. And even if I was really comfortable, mm -hmm. I probably would have just stood there naked, but I'm sure no one wants to see me naked. We'll come back to <laughs> Amasli, but let's take a look at her new music video titled Ginger. Every day we go ginger from now to December, baby. If I catch you, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's gonna be just you and me, boy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I hope you got the energy. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's just you and me, boy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that is Jinja by Amasle and her producer tells me, or is it your manager? Your manager, he tells me that this is the first time airplay. It hasn't been played anywhere else yet. Let's talk about Jinja. What is Jinja? <laughs> well, don't put me on the spot. I didn't know I was going to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Jinja in the song, mm -hmm. Hmm. Let us know, let us know, we're into it. Okay, so pretty <laughs> much the storyline of the song, when it comes to Ego Ginger, it means pretty much, I don't want to say sex, no, say, because it could mean something different for everyone. Okay, but what does it mean for you? What is the ginger? Like, in what sense is ginger? Ego <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> well, so, oh, God. so pretty much, yeah. We go ginger. We go ginger. So, we like, if, if you say we go ginger, what are we gingering? Like, what is. We just want to know. We are your fans. We're trying to understand what ginger is. Oh. Talk to us. So, yeah. We, we, we go. We, we will have. We will have mm, sex and other and then stuff. And you are the stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> It is great. So now we can go ahead and be talking about we go ginger yeah. everywhere we go. Okay, so this is your new project. Yes. Do you have like an EP, an album coming out? I'm actually working on an EP right now mm -hmm. and we're looking for it to come out probably ending of this year or like early next year. Because mm -hmm. like I want to be able to like pull out singles and when you put out singles, not everything makes it into the album or the right. EP. So I'm just trying to see like put like the give people the best selections mm. of music. So who are some of the people you're looking to work with? Um, let's start with the females. females. Who are some of the, yeah. Um, I have my eyes on um, Afia, Becca, Adina. Um, if Ebony were alive, I would have probably Have you met Sister Afia? No, but actually a lot of people think I look yeah, like Yeah, you look like her. <laughs> like most of the things you do are a bit similar. Oh god. Yeah. You've not met her. I've yet? actually never met her in mm. person. But you've seen her, her work. Yeah, and I've seen like a few of her works, but never met her in person. Right. Actually. So our time is up. We just uh, wrap up for us. Just tell us what to look forward to when it comes to Amos Lee. Oh, okay, just I have a lot of like great music to share with you guys and like my journey it's not going to be easy so i really would love for you guys to just follow me support me and just keep cheering me on because it would really help since i'm new definitely follow amasle on social media and then ginger with her 